So warm welcome to everyone to this video. I'm Sebastian Corniglion, I'm one of the co-founder of DSTI and the dean of the school. I'm very happy to be with you. I'm joined by my colleagues of the faculty, Didier Oro, one of our famous maths teachers, and uh, Clément Zian, who is um, also our CTO at DSTI and um, computer science and IT uh, teacher in the faculty. The topic of this video is to give you an incentive and also some information on what to expect, how to prepare your upcoming entry exam. So you'll see that there's nothing really to worry about. It's just a matter of making sure that the preparation sheet that you will uh, be receiving or you have already received um, is uh, worked on diligently during the one week period that you have in order to prepare and then take the online entry examination. The file, the pre this pre preparation file that you will be receiving um, is projected just now on the screen. You are also here in a classroom environment of the STI, a typical classroom. So here it's, we are on the campus of Sophia Antipolis in the south of France on the French Riviera. You can maybe guess by the sun coming out of the windows. And so I'm um, the acting teacher here, and you see also that anyone in the classroom can be seen and observed and interact with their, their table mic. If your application has been, um, uh, has been deemed um, eligible to go further, you will be receiving an invitation to take our entry exam, which is made of 60 questions, 30 questions of mathematics, 30 questions, 30 questions of computer science. Each of them have three topics. As you can see in mathematics, it's applied mathematics, probabilities and statistics. And in computer science, it's algorithmic software engineering and architecture operation systems network, IT in general. Algebra, the determinant of a matrix, calculus, so derivative and integrations, including partial derivatives, more linear algebra, more linear algebra, and some fundamental probabilities questions, the typical rolling a dice, drawing out of, uh, out of a bucket, some more formal questions on probabilities, and at least one about probability laws, distribution laws. Then in statistics, it's actually a fairly easy part here. A lot of it, as Didier will be explaining, can be easily computed using software. So it's your usual you know, variance, standard deviation, evaluating the value of a probability, the mean, the variance of a, of a given distribution. So you have here 15 questions which will be presented to you identical when you will be taking the actual entry exam on our online platform. If you prepare these well, you're guaranteed to get at least you know, 50% on the maths chapter of the exam. The same goes for computer science. So we'll have an algorithmic part, which is not expressed in any particular programming language. So you don't have to worry too much about this. It's about understanding algorithmics. We'll be covering this in uh, my part. Um, and all of this area is either very um, simple algorithms or question about the behavior of data structures. 
for example, a linked list, a dictionary. But again, if you have no experience in programming before, you can still perform this part quite easily. So I'll pass on the algorithmic parts. I've already explained the, the idea. The, the questions are longer because, of course, an algorithm takes longer to be described in a, in a written way. Then there will be some um, more programming-centric question, more software engineering. It's essentially written in Python. It's becoming, as probably everyone knows, the, the common lingo for this kind of exercise. But again, there are simple um, uh, computation being performed here. Then some more um, software engineering question on principles, which I'll be, well, uh, and Clément will be explaining. Some specifics on, on Python, again, and some uh, parts on relational databases both on the theoretical aspect on relational algebra and also on, on in the main exam on, on SQL. In this, it closes via the, the most technical part, the IT part, based on questions on operating system command line and networking. So here you have some command line stuff, some network questions, and some, I would say, maybe slightly more advanced engineering and uh, operating system storage questions. So here we go. There's nothing to really worry about here. As we're going to explain to the, the three of us are going to explain to you a vast amount of these questions can be very easily found, well, the answers can be very easily found on the web, or if not the direct answer to the question, a very good, clear explanation on how things work behind the scene, leading you to the correct answer to the question. So thank you very much. And then we'll be taking in turn the, the different chapters to be, to be covered. Mm -hmm.